Hiya, welcome back. Day five. Well, it's been a bit of a nightmare. The floor, like I suspected, is completely unlevel. I'm debating on how I'm gonna level up the uh, bench because I don't really wanna make adjustable feet. Um, at the moment, I've just put wedges underneath it and, and uh, just to give it a test run. I've placed one saw on top of it, and that seems to be okay. I, sh I've, I think I've got the footage to show you that. Um, but at the moment, that is now a bit on hold because we've got the new section behind me where the dust extractor is going to go. So next up, unbox it, make sense of it, and try and see if I can put it all together. And then it's a matter of working out what pipes I need and the electric supply and all everything else like that. So it's one step at a time, one day at a time. Let's get cracking and welcome. I hope you enjoy it, my suffering. I had a few days out because uh, health issues and stuff. So we're getting back to it now and I can just about move so we're uh, we can get cracking. Okay I've got one end installed. I've put some filler pieces in at an angle so they're all glued in and sealed. Uh, it's glued in around the edges and all that. It's also got um, wedges underneath where it's screwed into that and they're screwed to the sides so it's all quite smooth then we come down here we've got the blast gate into the pipe round into the bracket so that's one end pretty much done when the glue's gone right hard, I'll give it a little smooth off and paint up this bit round here, even though you're never going to see it, just to make it look pretty. But uh, quite pleased with how they've come out. Pretty good. So, that's one side done we are getting closer to getting that monster on right there. basically what I'm doing is these go underneath behind and support on the bottom I've done that just done that side you can see underneath just about and screwed it in there so that's basically what I'm doing. But it's all, all attached, same as the other one. And they all work good. So, excellent, pleased with that. Okay, I've got the bench in position. The floor is all wobbly. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. Um, but I've got a table saw on, it's not bolted down. It's just placed on and it's looking pretty level all over. I'll show you that. Pretty much in the middle and it's level across. So, hopefully, it'll work and I have plenty of room to walk around it. It'll be great. So, that's as far as I've got on day five. I've been busy taking the old one apart, getting the table saw off it. Um, and going from there so it's been a bit of an awkward one to video because it's just a matter of disassembling and assembling again um, and I've got to try and it's a lot of thinking involved so you can't film thinking but apart from that I'm winning okay well this is the area this corner where I want to fit the uh, dust extractor in first of all I've got to clear all this lot and find stuff that I ain't seen for 10 years. So, then we'll get back on with this. 
Well, I've got a corner and that was terrible, but I seem to have put everything in a corner, sort of, on everything. Because I don't know where it's all got to go. But I have filled up my garden with rubbish, don't know if you can see in the dark, but I've got to take a trip to the dump. Got rubbish everywhere. Okay, well there's the area. I had some yellow paint left over, and that's as far as I got. But it's better than nothing. And it cleans up and it's a, you can see if spiders are there or not. Because I've killed a thousand spiders. No, I haven't. I've released them to the wild.